Good afternoon, everybody. It's Wednesday, April 29th. Oh, I think it's about 8.30 in the evening. Just got done with chores, pretty much. and I'm going to go take the 1066 here and get the plow hooked up, the moldboard plow, and uh, get that greased up and stuff. I do have to, though, before we started running the tank spreader, I had taken this strap off below the draw bar here, so you got like a double hitch. Um, so I got to put that back on so I can hook the plow up. And then I did put the, I had the disc up here earlier. I got a couple of these gangs pulled off. I got to tighten them up. I got to weld up a couple of spots here where the discs were wearing. And then hope, hopefully tomorrow I can pull them other pieces off that were cracked and get them fixed. But right now we're going to put this hitch on and go get the plow hooked up. had this chain on there to give this a little more support if something were to break or bend here so it didn't drop that down with that tank or having quite a bit of weight on there. That's what the chain was for. Ah. I'm going to wait to hook the hydraulics up because the cows had to knock the ends off in the dirt so I got to clean them up a little bit. I got it pulled up here by the garage, just going to get it greased up and make sure the tires got air and everything in them. Uh, this is our main plow here. This is a six bottom, six 16 inch bottoms, international 770 um, spring reset or auto reset plow. Um, does a nice job. Uh, actually, I really like the spring reset. All we ever had before, and actually we still have it, is a five bottom international 550 plow semi-mount this is trailer type just because we got this plow mainly because this tractor didn't have a three-point hitch but I, I actually like the on land hitch uh, in the pull type plow uh, the semi-mount one we had it was it's a nice plow it does it plows does a nice job the only kind of rocky around here in places and you constantly have to stop and back up to reset those bottoms when they trip where these in these white tubes they got big springs so when it hits a rock it just trips the bottom back up and then pushes it back down so that's nice but I don't think I think now I'm gonna go I gotta feed a little bit of hay and then probably go get some supper and I'll grease this thing up tomorrow and I uh, might even get a chance to try it out tomorrow get some video of that but just kinda give you a little overview of our main plow here and what we use everybody it's April 30th today um, got the plow up here so I pulled it up last night I'm just going to run through it now, grease it all up. Um, this plow has a lot of grease fittings, but I like that uh, better than not having. 
So we're going to get it greased up, uh, fuel up the tractor. I got to clean up those hydraulic hose ends and uh, go start doing some plowing, I think, today. I just pulled that and set it down because there's some fittings when they've got pressure on them that won't take grease. So let's do that so I can grease some of the other ones. Everybody, we made it over here now. Um, pretty good sized field. There's a couple different fields. I suppose there's 30 acres here, something like that. We'll see how this goes now. Um, it's heavier ground here, clay kind of, I think, and a uh, few spots that seem a little soft yet, so we'll see. I don't have my other dual fixed yet, so we'll see how that goes, but I think it'll be all right. I don't uh, usually plow too extremely deep, so. Um, we'll see how this goes.
It's chore time, but nobody's here. Where could they be? Looks like everyone's chilling. It's about 52 degrees today, so it's nice comfortable temperature for them. Ladies, chore time. see them. They're right there. There's a couple of Canadian geese. And there's a couple more right there. And then there's some in the pond. We have about, there's five mated pairs and then there's one single that make that pond their home. And it's really cool to watch them. It's really cool to watch them raise their, their goslings. But it also makes me nervous because I know that they can be really dangerous when they do have their goslings, so I don't like the kids coming out here when they have them. Come on, ladies! Time to get milked! Come on, girls! Come on! Let's go! Come on, come on, let's go. Not that I can blame them for not wanting to go in. That's a heck of a view. See, there's the couple of Yeah, that's a pretty view right there. Now they're up and moving. They're going the wrong way. The barn's that way. So confused.